Hi, it's Sam. Today we will be covering the introduction workshop for the statistical inference in R. Let's open the R Studio introduction section. Okay. In this lesson, we'll briefly introduce the basics of statistical inference, the process of drawing conclusion about a population using noisy statistic data where uncertainties must be accounted for. In other words, a statistical inference lab scientist, the data scientist, formulate conclusion from data uh, and the quantified uncertainty arising using the incomplete data. So in the business analytics domain, we want to generate business insights. What are the trends going on and how confident that, say, the sales forecast uh, in the next three months uh, will go up by how much percentage, say 5%, then how uncertain we are about the 5%. It is plus minus 1%, plus minus 0.0% how confident we are. So yeah, so this is statistical inference. Uh, it concerns about the predictive modeling. So we use uh, regression models to model it uh, and to make a forecast. So there will be um, more advanced predictive models for statistical inference. Uh, besides the linear regression, there will be uh, nonlinear regression, logistic regression, and there will be uh, nonlinear models like decision trees, random forest, neural networks, and so on. So here, the statistical inference uh, is concerned about the basic statistical inference using confidence intervals, uh, mean test, t-test, variance test, f-test, and so on. So we have a look at the basics. Okay, so which one is not an example of statistical inference? Constructing a medical image from MRI data. It seems not it seems quite a straightforward like data recall. So polling before an election to predict its outcome, yes, yeah, some kind of using historical polling data to forecast the future actual uh, voting results. So this sounds like a statistical inference. So the third one, testing the efficacy of a new drug. Is it effective or not of a new drug? Yes, it is. So we have to do experiment and conclusion from the collected data during the experiments. Recording the result of a statistics exam. Okay, recording the result of a statistical exam is not really a statistical inference. So we're just recording the result. So first one looks most unlikely to be a statistical inference. Okay, <clears throat> formulating conclusions using data and quantifying the uncertainty. So this is core about statistical inference. Which of the following is not a source of bad data? Bad data. So selection bias, yes, you select bias is a kind of bad data. So I would say I only do the survey of the student in the university. Then this is selection bias because my uh, audience is actually larger. My customer base can be larger in in terms of the election. Then the voters are not just mm, university students. There are the other people. So there are the selection bias. Poorly designed study. Yeah, poorly designed experiment. Yes, sometimes the, the experiment can be contaminated uh, by the surveys, the questions that you ask in the survey. A randomly selected sample population. So this is a good uh, sampling technique. So this is not a bad data. So a small sample size. Yes, yeah, sample size, the larger the better. Uh, the larger the better. So the smaller size, uh, you may uh, draw a sample which does not show the comprehensive uh, characteristic of the entire uh, population or the customer base. So here it's three. Okay. With statistical inference, we use data to draw general conclusion about a population. 
which of the following what a data scientist using statistics considers a problem is it a problem which one is a problem my data sample is representative of the population this is what we expect it to be so it should be representative our study has no bias and is well designed so no that, that's not a problem so contaminated data yes contaminated data so fraud data, so someone uh, just fraudulently to uh, fill in the data and later we collect it, it's contaminated. <clears throat> Which of the following is not an example of statistic inference in action? Testing the effectiveness of a medical treatment. So this is yes. Yeah, we do some medical experiment, then we test the effectiveness. Yes, it is statistic inference. Determine a causative mechanism underlying a disease. What causes a disease? What causes a, a flu? What causes a, a lung disease? So we find the cause by looking at the data to associate what is the cause, what is the consequence. Yes, it is. Counting sheep. Yeah, counting sheep apparently it's a uh, we don't really need to do some inference, we just count one by one, recording it. So data collection, data recording is not considered as inference, we're not making predictions. Estimating the proportion of people who will vote for a candidate. Yes, data is, is we have to estimate. Yeah. Estimation involves uncertainty uh, and prediction under uncertainty. Okay, we want to emphasize a couple of important points here. First, statistics, singular, is a number calculated from a sample of data. Statistics, for example, the mean value, median value, standard deviation, these are all called statistics of a sample. To infer information about a population. Second, random variable is the outcome from a experiment. Deterministic process such as computing means variance applied to random variable produce additional random variables which have their own distributions. It is important to keep straight of those distributions you are talking about. So yeah, when we are using histograms, we can plot the data's distribution. Is it normally distributing? Is it skewed, left, skewed, right? Is it uh, mirrored? Is it symmetric or not symmetric? So it says the population itself has its population mean. Sometimes we don't know, but we collect samples from the population and we can calculate the mean deterministically of a sample. Only now we use the sample's mean to estimate is the sample's mean exactly the same as the population mean, how confident we are, uh, and how confident we are there's how much difference between the uh, deterministic sample's mean value and the uh, estimated population's mean value. So all of these are considered as random variables. So finally, there are two broad flavors of inference. First is the frequency based, which use long run proportions of time event occurs in independent identically distributed repetitions so this is the you looking at the past data to forecast the future data looking at the samples means to forecast the population mean to estimate the population mean the second is Bayesian in which the probability estimate for a hypothesis is updated as additional evidence is acquired so both flavors require understanding of probability. So what's the next lesson we'll cover? So probability. So basic network is about okay. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I, I'm asking that will tomorrow rain or not? Will tomorrow rain or not? So without any uh, additional information, I would say probably fifty percent tomorrow will rain. Then in Today, evening, late evening, I found that, wow, it's pouring heavily, cats and dogs are pouring cats and dogs, so raining heavily near the midnight. So with this additional information or evidence, then I will need to update my belief for the probability of rain tomorrow. So it's more likely tomorrow will continue to rain. Uh, 
by knowing that in the late evening today it is raining or heavily uh, clouded. So with additional in, in evidence or information, then we update our belief for the probability of another event, say tomorrow's rain. So this is a Bayesian reason, Bayesian uh, inference. Okay. Okay, okay. This is the end of this uh, introduction, short introduction of statistical inference. So statistical inference concerns about looking at the past data and use the past data's measurements, statistics, mean value, average, uh, uh, past five years sales forecast, sales values uh, to forecast the next five years sales uh, number. So looking at the past data to infer the future data uh, with some uncertainty, quantifiable uncertainty. This is about statistical inference. There's many models we can use to conduct this, to build the predictive models for statistical inference. There will be linear models like linear regression, logistic regression, polynomial regression. Uh, there will be also nonlinear models like decision trees, support vector machine, neural network, deep learning models, and so on. Now there are a big bunch of it. So uh, in reality, they're just a kind of uh, mathematical formulas. Okay, so this is the end of this uh, introductory course. So next course we'll be looking at other sessions. Thank you very much. See you soon.